Hello, welcome to Tech Shenmue. In this session, we will learn about a process through which we can iterate the lines of code with the help of do while loop. So here I have created one program. So let's go through that program. So before we start discussing about do while loop, uh, let me explain you something about the loops. So loops is basically a process, or you can say that uh, when we are repeating some set of code or some set of lines of code uh, for some specific condition then this thing is called as loop okay so here on line number 10 what we are doing we are declaring one variable which is count and it is of decimal type of length 4 and initially we are uh, uh, assigning one uh, digit to this variable so now it this time it is holding one okay now on line number 14 what we are doing we are using do while loop so how to use do while loop so for that you have to simply write do while and then take f4 so once you take f4 uh, this screen will come where you have to specify the condition so you can specify any condition for which you want to iterate the lines of code let's say here i am i want to run this loop till the value of count is less than 5 so if the value of five uh, value of count is less than five then it will iterate the loop and when it becomes equal to five or greater than five then it will term simply terminate the loop okay these two fields are for optional field like label and comment if you want to put some label or comment then you can put it here otherwise you can simply hit enter so from line number 14 the do condition is started do while condition okay so what it will do it will check the count value every time and if it is less than 5 it will go inside the loop otherwise it will directly go to end to now on line number 15 what we are doing we are using snd pgm msg command to print the count variable so as count variable is of decimal type so we can't uh, display it directly with the help of snd pgm msg command for that we have to convert it to character so here we are using percentage care so what it will do it will convert the decimal value to character and then it will print that to user about uh, percentage care it, this is a built-in fun uh, built-in function of cl and in the upcoming session we will discuss uh, more about all the built-in function that we are having in this cl language so that we will discuss uh, further but for now you can just uh, just understand like we are here here we are using percentage care just to convert the count value into character and then then only we will be able to use it with snd pgm msg command on line number 16 we are using csg where command so what we are doing here with the help of csg where command we are changing the value of count variable and every time whenever the loop iterates we are adding one number to the count value okay so we will increment the value by one every iteration and then we are doing and do so let's uh, see how it will iterate so firstly the initial value is one so it will check here the condition in do while loop so count value is one so one is less than five which is true because one is less than five then it will simply came inside the loop and it will print the value with the help of snd pgm msg command then it will go to line number 16 where it will increment the count value by one so now the count value become two and again it will go to check for the condition and this time also two is less than five so this is also true so it will again came inside the loop and it will print the value and so on it will increment the value one by one once it once the uh, count value become one uh, sorry count value become four then it will increment it by one so it the count value is five this time it will check uh, again go for uh, go and check the condition of loop and this time it is not true because five is not less less than five so it will directly came out of the loop and the program gets terminated means because here we are just leaving the loop and after that we don't have any line of code to execute so what this code will do it will print the value one two three four and then it will came out of the program so let's see by try to compile it 
so I'm calling it so the value is 1 at the bottom you can see when 1 and here is the plus icon so you can simply place your cursor here and just to page it down 2 3 4 and now there is no plus icon it means the file is ended here the record is ended here so this is how we can utilize the do while loop for repeating the specific uh, lines of code for a specific condition and it is very useful thing because whenever you want to run same line of code again and again then you can utilize this do while loop there are uh, other methods also for uh, looping that we will discuss in the upcoming session for this session that's all that we want to discuss with you so yeah thank you for watching texture